Recently, it came to my attention that there's this girl named Bella the Wolf, and she does art like this, but she also does art like this. Some girl who goes on the internet by Bella the Wolf. But when I found out his phone number, I decided to leak. Hello, my name's Lisa, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a character called Bella the Wolf. Now, this has been requested for me to make this video by a few of my subscribers. And the reason I'm making it today is if you haven't seen my community post, I did put a note in there to say that I was going to be stepping away for a little while because in July I've struggled physically and mentally with my health. So, like I said, the video today is Bella the Wolf and she makes something called Gotcha content. Now, if you're like me and didn't have a blinking clue what that was, then, you know, we're in the same boat. But I've looked it up and it's creating anime style characters and stories i'm just totally guessing here but i think it's where someone creates a character and makes up fictitious stories and lives for them but obviously i could be totally wrong and the reason for the video is some of these people take it to a whole new level and totally out of left field and they start alienating people by talking about their religion, their race in a very detrimental and demeaning manner. And from what I've seen, this seems to be what Bella the Wolf is doing now i do want to make one thing very clear right from the start i don't want anyone to send this person any hate and from what i have been led to believe she is actually a child but she seems to spend an awful lot of her life online and to me that's insane i mean obviously i'm not a child i'm a parent and a grandparent so i've got to ask where are your parents? How are you allowed to do this? But anyway, we're going to get into what Bella has been posting. Recently, it came to my attention that there's this girl named Bella the Wolf, and she does art like this, but she also does art like this. And for months, she's been posting things mocking Christians and Muslims, posting things like Bella is the new Allah, Bella's better than Jesus, Bella is Jesus. She's literally tried it all. Bible stories of Bella. She's even done edits talking about how she's better than Jesus and Allah. And her and her fans have basically went to war against religion for some reason. And this is clearly all she posts about. As we're going to see as we continue through this video, this is not actually all she posts about. So I just want to say that because what he said there is not quite correct. But I've also got to say that I totally disagree with this kind of content because she seems to have an aversion on a lot of things such as soldiers, which we're going to get into. But why is she picking on people's religions? That's the part I don't understand. It's got nothing to do with anybody else who you believe in or don't believe in. But for you to be mocking those people is just disgusting. I'm sorry if you can hear my little fan running, but it's over 100 degrees here. And, you know, I feel like I'm melting with it on. So God knows what I'd be like if I didn't have it on. That was an example of an anime put out by Bella the Wolf. And as we can see, that is just not right on any level. And I don't agree with the posts like that that are so disrespectful to the armed forces, especially picking on soldiers in a video like that. That just seems very sick to me. At the end of the day, they protect us all. My father was in the British Navy and he, along with all of the other people serving on that ship, put their lives at risk for the rest of us. So to me, she's just a disgusting individual. And to be honest, I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that. The military serves as a purpose to protect us from the people who solely want to come to this country and hurt innocent people 
not only does she disrespect the military, but it, it has been alleged that she also faked cancer. And that takes lying to a whole new level, doesn't it? And not only did she allegedly fake it for herself, but she totally disrespected another YouTuber who is unfortunately deceased from cancer. He was a Minecraft player and she mocked him mercilessly. I mean, what the actual F? And it doesn't get any better from here on in either. She definitely doesn't improve. So now we're going to find out that she actually docks a 10 year old. Yesterday, some girl or some person who goes on the internet by Bella the wolf put my son, and here he is, that's Miles, put Miles' number on a Discord server, said that it was hers, and told people to call. This Discord has over 10,000 people in it. Since then, Miles has gotten over 500 text messages, over 200 phone calls and voicemails that we've had to deal with. So at this point, I am going to have to change Miles' number. That seems like such an immature and very dangerous thing to do. Because idiots like this won't just be calling. They will be leaving voice messages and sending inappropriate videos and photographs to a 10 year old. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know Bella the Wolf is a kid, I've no idea how old she is, but that doesn't excuse her behaviour. It is scary. And then for people to be using racial slayers, my son, it's me. Um, there was pictures sent that were very, very inappropriate for a 10-year-old, inappropriate for me, and I'm 41 years old. If you follow Bella the Wolf, please tell her to take my son's phone number down. That is totally insane. And I reiterate what that mum said. Please encourage anyone to take that phone number down. Obviously, I'm not American, but I do believe doxing is illegal, isn't it? So the other day, I uploaded a video exposing the most toxic gotcha life creator, Bella the Wolf. And her response was nothing the less art of her decapitating my head. Her staff and close friends also joined in posting art of me getting whipped, stomped to the ground, and even hanged. She of course also made fake DMs, which if she was good at, would have obviously gotten my profile pic right at least. Thankfully, a lot of you guys were smart and didn't jump the gun, especially when it's coming from a person like Bella the Wolf, who lies and says I'm an EDP, I have a OF, and still says things like this about Technoblade who passed away from cancer for no reason. After the video came out by Toy Records exposing a lot of things that Bella the Wolf has been posting, she retaliated by telling all the people in her Discord, and remember that's over 10,000 people, to mass report his YouTube channel, therefore get it taken down. And I do believe, I mean, I might be wrong here, but I do think that this is actually his livelihood and to be honest this Bella the Wolf really needs to be stopped. She's showing that she is a racist and she's added Thai records to the already foul captions and it's just crazy. Now I'm going to show you an interview with Hollo and Bella the Wolf. Did you decide to make your uh, persona, your uh, OC being a gacha character, which uh, hates soldiers and all of this stuff? Why did you decide to start this entire Bellarism stuff as well? All right, so obviously I started back in like 2020, 2021, and obviously I was just a kid who like started gacha like any other child would. And then I started making an OC like everyone does in gacha because that's basically what you do. Is that right? Because I actually don't know any kid who has started a gotcha. And I uh, obviously I already had social media like TikTok. And I started making videos on there believing what I thought was right. Obviously, soldiers, they kill innocent people. And you, you guys can ask me anything you want about that because I can back up my point so well. What age have you got to be to have a TikTok account? 
because in my opinion whatever age it is it is far too young and parents need to be more responsible with what their kids are doing online this is outrageously disgusting and as for the religion thing it's mm, i don't really have much words on it to be honest Regarding that TikTok of that woman and the uh, kid who was like talking about the phone number, what what was the context behind that? All right, so honestly, I'm just gonna say a ten year old should not be on Discord, especially how dangerous it should be. But when I found out his phone number, I decided to leak it because obviously he was being really disrespectful to me. Obviously, he would have been really fine in my server if he would have just not done what he did, because he has been saying some really, really not appropriate things, especially things that should not have come out of a ten year old's mouth. So obviously, I did take it a little too far by leaking his number, but at least that'll teach him to get off of social media. You only took it a little too far. Seriously? What the how? You doxed him. That's a bit more than a little too far, isn't it? And to be honest, you're saying that you only did it to get him off of social media. Well, you're allegedly a child. Would someone doing that to you get you off of social media? Because I don't think it would. So that's an outrageous excuse to use. So regarding the allegations of you like sending the uh, like fan art of that YouTuber with like being hung, being beheaded and stuff, that, that was you, right? Yeah, obviously that, that was me and some of my friends joined in as well. And um, the images which were used in some commentary YouTubers videos of like you saying a couple no no words that was you as well right yes obviously I'm not homophobic in my vo vocabulary they're just words that don't mean anything what kind of excuse is that they are words that don't mean anything in my vocabulary but at the end of the day they do mean an awful lot in other people's vocabularies Obviously, I'm not homophobic or racist, and a couple of people have framed me for saying the n-word, but I have never said the n-word before, though I have to use a couple of slang to uh, the LGBTQ community. From everything I've seen and heard about you, Bella, I'm not sure I actually believe that you're not a racist, but obviously that's just my opinion. She goes on to say in the interview that she doesn't agree with all of the hate and all of the things that are directed at her. At the end of the day, in my opinion, she's the cause of it all and people aren't hating on her. All they are doing is bringing attention to her and the things she's doing. So in my opinion, they are just educating others about her and she says that the hate means nothing to her well yes it does by some of the things that she's done once these videos have actually come out great news is her toxic tiktok he did get banned her main discord account it got suspended but again discord does need to get contacted about that server because they constantly promote doxing and disgusting things in that server she's been saying she's gonna sue me she's trying to get thousands of people to report my account it has been said by quite a few people that she has lost all of her social media, that her TikTok was banned, Twitter, her Discord server, her Instagram account. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. And obviously it's easy to make a new Discord server. And if she has done that already, then I just wouldn't recommend joining the chaos that obviously takes place in it because it seems like a very toxic place to be so if you don't want to be in a toxic place then please don't join it in my opinion she makes all of this content for one reason for rage bait and it gets people talking about her which is obviously what she wants so don't go and send her any hate because then you are just drawing more attention to her videos in the algorithm and that is exactly what she wants so it's a pointless exercise doing that really for the most part her rage baiting is actually working and i just feel that it's warping her mind and taking it up far away from reality and for what she said about technoblade that is just absolutely disgusting I mean, she pretended that she had cancer 
And then she said disgusting things about Technoblade. And unfortunately, he was a YouTuber who is now deceased. So, you know, that's as low as she stoops to say awful things about someone who's not even here anymore. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope it's been enlightening for you. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button subscribe to my channel as i said i'm gonna be not around for a little while but i will be back so therefore i'll see you on the next video tata for now